Guys, you wouldn't believe it, but my three terabyte Seagate internal hard disk broke down. So I'm gonna see if I can try to recover the data. So I'm here at stage three uh, PC in Santa Mesa. Good morning, Mark. So this place I found online, they seem to have uh, a decent kind of online presence. So this is where I am and hopefully they can do something about my, my hard disk, which is right here. See the Seagate three terabyte. I bought this one and a half years ago and I can't believe it suddenly uh, became not visible on my computer and I don't know what to do. So that's why I'm here. So I'm here with Mark. He's gonna take a look Good at morning. it. So, uh, can you give me a little bit of background, sir, on what happened to your hard drive? Well, essentially, it's been working. Yesterday, I was able to send out a few emails. Uh, that's linked to my Outlook. So, and then I left the computer on. Maybe I was downloading something, but I left it on. And then, uh, when I came back, I turned on the TV, and it just wasn't. Uh, the, there was nothing on the screen, but the computer was still on, which sometimes happens because of the DVI to HDMI connection to the TV. Uh, and then, so I just did a hard reset. And after I did that hard reset, suddenly that hard disk wasn't visible. So now I'm here. Guys, is your mean uh, hard disk? I mean, is your OS? Uh, no, my OS isn't on there. Okay. It's purely uh, media. Your Media, yeah. Sure, can I? Yes. So that's a very interesting gadget you have there. What does that do? Actually, sir, this uh, for external hard drivers. Mm -hmm. Well, definitely, uh, it's a mechanical problem. Uh, the read and write or the actuator arm is already damaged, and after a few seconds, uh, it just stops working. Okay. okay. That's not good. normal uh, we usually encounter mechanical problems actually every day uh, drop hard drive uh, bump hard drive anyway sir uh, your case uh, maybe 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 the the reset did it yeah sir because this is the parking lot uh, that's our term parking lot you should see where the actuator arm rests or when you shut it off properly it will after shutting down the go here. So in your case, maybe, uh, while the hard drive is still running, you force uh, shut down the unit, uh, still here. It didn't park here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe, sir. And so if that happens, if it parks there when it's closed, does that already mean it's game over for the hard drive? Yeah. It won't be able, when you start it, it won't come back to the park position? Yes. Yeah, okay, so. That's is the problem, or that could be the problem. That could be the problem. We're not sure. Okay, not sure yet. Yes. So, what is the next step we got to do? Well, sir, uh, next step, sir, is uh, put your hard drive into diagnostic, sir. Okay. Uh, we need to scan the health of your hard drive uh, if, to see if it's still recoverable, or if it's still recoverable, uh, what is the percentage of the files that we can extract? Mm -hmm. Or if not, maybe it's already not recoverable. It's still the better. Okay, so let's do that. The diagnosis fee is how much? Uh, 550, sir, for the diagnostic fee. And then usually the recovery? Well, basic charge, sir, uh, 3000 to 9000 sir. Okay. But still increase 
depends on the pra depends on the process that we're going to use, yeah. duration, and amount of files. We need okay. extra. All right. So you leave this for the next. Right? Yes, of course, okay. I'll leave that. Well, guys, that's it. That's not so good news. But what can I do? Shit happens, all right? Even to good-natured people like myself. So it's not the end of the world. It's just a hard disk. We can't get attached to material obsessions, possessions. <laughs> so I'm, I'm quite shocked about it, quite disappointed about it. But nothing I can do. The best I can do is try to retrieve the data and see what's retrievable. And of course, more importantly, see how much that's going to cost which I know could be an arm and a leg, but we'll see if the hard disk is okay. But I really have some important files there, so hopefully I can retrieve it. So I'll update you, uh, I guess, in the next video, and we'll see how this uh, Stage 3 PC performs. Studio Bake Bread Gallery is one of the newest bread shops in Manila, opened in March 2018 by the Escudero family. All items are baked in store and are affordable even though the ingredients are top quality. Hi everybody, I'm at Studio Bake here at Festival Mall and from 6pm to 9pm daily at 50% off. This is a local bakery specializing in danishes and uh, a few other items which we're going to get right now. So, the cream cheese.